Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, and today I'm showing you a Toshiba laptop that had some coffee spilled on the keyboard. Now, how do we go about fixing this? First of all, you'll want to unplug it as quickly as you can, and pull the battery out of your laptop as quickly as you can. If you can't pull the battery out, that sucks, because the less power and electricity that runs through it, the less corrosion and damage. First of all, when you spill something on your keyboard, and your keyboard no longer works or the computer will no longer boot by pressing the power button it's most likely because the liquid has shorted the keyboard to the point where it's stopping a laptop from booting or some of the liquid has made it past the keyboard so your first step is to take the keyboard out every single laptop is different on how to do this so I apologize I can't give you an easy how-to sometimes you can access it by just taking off this little strip and laptop sometimes you gotta take the whole laptop apart and right down to the last screw to get the keyboard out it really just depends first step pull the keyboard out when the keyboard's out see if there's any liquid passed there's definitely some liquid passed here so i'd be cautious about moving or about powering this thing on so what i did next is i pulled off this top portion i pulled it off with all of the uh, ribbons and everything unplugged as I went. So now we are exposing the motherboard or mainboard. I went further. I took out the Wi-Fi card. I unplugged the power button. I unplugged um, even the monitor. I unplugged all the RAM. Just I unplugged the SATA. Just unplug everything that you possibly can. Just rem remember to pop out the BIOS battery as well uh, when you're in there. Just to make sure everything's cleared and then try booting. Obviously you wanna make sure there's no liquid here. There is no liquid, but in this particular case, what I have to do is the power button I pulled out and I use a piece of metal and short out the power button or uh, jump the power button there where those tong uh, metal pins are. So I touch two together and the laptop lights up. Now it does boot now that everything is unplugged. Let's give you an example. So if I plug it in, it immediately fires up and we get a screen. So at least there's power. Oop, and it just shut down. So if I take one of these and jump her past and the light turned on and we're getting something. And now we have screen. Now we've got power. So now turn it off plug in one by one each component and boot it back up. Plug components in one by one, booting it up every time. And if it boots up, great, that component's fine. Obviously you wanna make sure that any liquid damage and all that's off. This is the power button. So I'd have to do a continuity test to see if this ribbon's fine, it's probably okay. But eventually you'll find a piece that won't let the computer boot and you know that that's the dead component, buy a new one. I have the original keyboard in, and as you can see, it's working. And I gave it some WD-40, but it works great. Thank you for watching. Hit up the channel. See you next time. Ciao.